Yo, okay, so I wasn't actually ready to press record, but here we are, pressing record. So, you know, fuck it. Um, so what's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about dry valleys and why dry isn't technically dry, or why it kind of is, but it also kind of isn't. So we're just going to kind of get into it. And with that, we're also going to talk about what valleys are good dry and which ones aren't. I also don't want to look at that. So, um, here are my, here's my little boys, here's my little fellas, these are my children. As you guys met last time, these are my children, and we treat them very nice around here. Um, little gravity Orion. So, uh, which, yeah, I still gotta edit the video, I know, I just, guys, it'll, it'll happen, it'll happen, I promise. Maybe I'll edit tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. Probably not, but we'll see. Um, but here's my Orion. Um, and the Orion is one of my knives that I keep dry, okay? And the reason I keep giving you, like, these, you know, quotation marks is because it's not taking all the oil out of my knife and then being like, put it back together, boom, and now I get to flip it. No. Instead, it's, okay, I take apart my knife, I clean it, right? And then, when I put it back together, I oil it with thin oil and then leave it. Don't touch it ever again. Just leave it. Leave it alone. What it pretty much is, is leaving some kind of lubricant in there, right? Because oil gets old, and instead of ever touching it, I'm just leaving it. So if you notice, like, my Kraken, for example, I don't know, whoever whoever is watching this and is uh, following me on Instagram, which you should do that, Jack Piotti Pyro on Instagram, uh, if you've ever noticed... My Kraken dry, dry, sounds different than other people who tag me on their, like, story being like, freshly clean, bone dry Kraken, right? And that's why. Because this just has really fucking old oil in it, right? And, and of course, like, my Kraken tolerances are just fucking stupid. I don't know how it has no tap still, but... Now, there's no squeak, that's one. Usually a pretty, like, easy to find way to tell if something's, like, absolutely bone dry is it'll develop, like, squeaking. And that's just because of the pure friction between the metals, right? Like your phosphorus bronze washers, your steel, your aluminum, whatever the fuck it may be. That rubbing against each other is giving you that squeaking noise, right? So, my Kraken doesn't squeak. My Kraken rattles because of the, like, space in between the washer's the blade and the handles, so that's why it still has handle play. And there's no lube in there, fresh lube, to dampen that rattliness, because it really is just bouncing around in there, right? But that's why my Kraken doesn't squeak, right? Very easy. Now, with this, we're also going to talk about the fact that phosphorus bronze washers are self-lubricating. And you can't really run with that and be like, oh, it fucking creates lube. No, you're stupid. It doesn't fucking create oil in the goddamn pivots. What that means is little bits of the phosphorus bronze washer is wearing away. And this is a bad example because this has titanium, but we're going to get back to that. The bronze washers in there, as it's like being flipped around and stuff, the friction that's getting caused in there because there isn't any fresh lube, that the little like particles in there, they get worn off, and that's what gives it, like, that extra, like, how do I put it? Uh, not frictionless, because that's not exactly right, but it, like, helps with the friction, right? It's, it's self-lubricating in the fact that the little bits and pieces of the washer that fly around in there and are fucking destroying itself helps, like, alleviate friction, right? Like, that's the better way of putting it. And that's why even something like my AB which hasn't been, hasn't been oiled since I've put it together, still has perfect free swing. And like, there's no, no nothing. Look at that. Keep swinging, keep swinging, keep swinging. And like, I'm not moving my hand like this or anything. There's no camera tricks. It really does just fucking work just fine. Now, with that, I also want to discuss 
which knives, because this is really important, which knives should I keep dry? And that's a really easy but also complicated question to answer. The reason why I like dry knives, generally, is because it gives you a more responsive feeling. If you flip a knife with like old oil in it, because I guarantee you have one knife that you have not oiled in a minute, right? You flip it, but you just haven't fucking oiled it. You haven't gone around to it. And if you say you don't, you're fucking lying, okay? You're lying to me. But listen, just go flip that knife and go do some fans on it. Go do like some momentum fanning where like the, the blade or like the handles have to like go to a T. Go do some fanning, right? Go do some whip rollovers. Do whip rollovers into fanning, like I was just doing there. And tell me how that feels compared to a knife that you freshly oiled. This isn't freshly oiled, but I'm just giving you a visual representation. A freshly oiled knife is going to be a little more floaty. It's gonna be a little more like smooth, like you're gonna kind of bring it out and then it'll kick. Not exactly in that slow of motion, but it'll pretty much be doing that. It'll fly out and then you're gonna twist. With a dry knife, one, you're gonna have looser tolerances. Looser. Meaning, you're gonna have more handle play. Which is good for fanning, good for rollovers, because it gives you more slack to be able to do the trick right. Tight tolerances are great, right? Because to flip a, a knife with really tight tolerances is harder, kind of. Because you have to be more precise. If you're a little bit off with your rollover, like, and you have no handle play, it's gonna be needing to, to be like a perfect rollover. And, you know, there's no play. You need a little bit of play in your knife if you really want to be getting down and dirty, right? If you have perfect tolerances, you're going to need to be flipping basically perfect. Not to say it's impossible, but it's part of why, not exactly, but it's part of why most people don't like bearings. Whether you know it or not, subconsciously, you're going to find it more difficult to flip a knife with bearings because it has tighter tolerances and it's not going to be as forgiving for rollovers and fanning and just tricks in general. Now, a lot of people like to, you know, say that it's due to the momentum, and yeah, that is partially correct. Bearings are definitely going to be giving you a lot more momentum than bushings or washers, especially washers. But it also has a lot to do with the tolerances, whether you know it or not. A little bit of a side tangent, but that's important to understand, right? Um... So I like having dry knives because I get, god damn it, I get a little more handle play, right? Meaning I'm able to do a little more tricks. Like if you notice my AB has some handle play, right? My Orion has a teensy bit of handle play. It's more than most Orions, right? And my Volt Pro still has not a ton, but a little bit of handle play. Still kind of breaking this in and beating it still, so. Not nearly as beat as uh, any of the other knives I have with me right now. So, fuck, I almost had that. Um, but, if you notice, all of them have some handle play. Now, that's partially due to beating, because you break in the knife, like, unbelievably well. And the other part, again, is no lube. So, you compare that, or like you add that, you combine it, is what I was trying to say. You combine that, and then you get more handle play, right? Simple, easy, good to go. And now you understand, one, you have less resistance, right? It doesn't have as much floatiness to it. There isn't as much of a glide to all your flipping. So everything is a lot more responsive, is usually the way how I'll, like, I'll explain it to people. There's a lot more immediate responsiveness from a dry knife, and again, dry do not flip your knives bone dry please don't if you're doing it for like to clean it maintenance or whatever and then you like send a clip whatever it's not a big deal it's not going to damage your knife but if you have your knife bone dry for a very long time you're going to wear grooves into the blade you're going to fuck up your washers blah 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 especially steel washers we'll be getting to that in a minute or depending on how long this run time's going because my timer's right here depending on how long that goes we'll save that for another video but yeah Dry knives leads to more responsiveness, and it gives you more wiggle room with doing all of your tricks, so you don't have to be as precise. Does that make me a dog shit flipper? Maybe. Probably. But, it's good, right? 
and bah, fuck. Uh, what else did we talk about? We figured out about how phosphorus bronze washers are self-lubricating. Um, dry knives lead to looser tolerances. Looser tolerances gives you more leeway in flips and responsiveness. And what am I missing? What am I missing? Okay, let's just talk about washers. So this is, uh, I've mentioned before, the Orion 1.5 trainer. It's my little baby boy. I love this thing. And flip it a lot. It's great. I got to Loctite it, but I am really lazy. It has titanium washers in it. Now that's new. Okay, this is like a first because before this, the only other washer material was steel. Everyone uses bronze phosphorus, steel, or if you're flipping some CCCs, they have plastic washers which is real. A good example of that is the Boker Plus Trainer. If you have a Boker Plus Trainer or a Boker Plus, I think both of them have them, you have little white fucking plastic washers. Take them out of your goddamn knife now. They are fucking impeding the flipping experience heavily. And the Boker Plus Trainer can be a great flipper. Just put bronze washers in it. Please, for the love of God, put bronze phosphorus washers in it and you will have a great time. Okay, I figured that out when I had my old one. Um, let me stop sidetracking again. Titanium washers are great, okay? The way I've been telling people, God damn it, is um, titanium washers are the perfect in-between between steel washers and bronze washers because they're harder than bronze, but they're softer than steel. Why does that matter? Well, because your blade is steel, fucking dummy. You're stupid. Your blades are always steel. Unless it's a Squiddy AL, but we're not talking about that. Or like some random fucking, like the Kuno. The Kuno is a steel blade. The Kuno should have titanium, or titanium blade. The Kuno should have tie washers, but it doesn't. Um, the fuck was I saying? Okay, right. So tie washers are great. Good in between, right? So it doesn't wear a groove into your blade, right? Which is great. So if you want to flip like dry, I'm going to keep calling it dry, but you know what I mean. It's not bone dry, but it's dry. If I'm saying bone dry, I'm going to say bone dry. If I'm saying dry where it's just old lube, I'm going to say dry. Okay, does that make sense? Are we cool? All right, cool. We're making sense on that. So, this has not been oiled since I fucking got it, right? If the washers or the blade were getting absolutely fucking demolished, my handle play would not look like that. Let me, let me zoom in for you so you can really see. My handle play would not look like this, okay? My handle play would be fucking retarded if, if it was wearing groove into the blade. Oh my god! Okay, sorry about that. I, I don't know if that was ear rape. I'm so sorry if that Discord call was ear rape. Um, anyways, tie washers are great because they don't wear a groove into the blade. They haven't worn anything into the handles. Tie washers are goaded. Now, the reason why you want harder washers is because it'll help with tolerances. Phosphorus bronze washers will wear a groove into like the bushing and the blade to where it'll make like, imagine a bucket hat. You know how a bucket hat will have like the rim and then like it'll go up and pew, right? You know what I mean? If I had a bucket hat, I would show you, but I don't have a bucket hat. Okay, imagine Kirby. Hey Kirby, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal you. I'm gonna put you over here. Welcome to the chair. So imagine Kirby, okay? Imagine this fuck ass hat was the washer, okay? The washer is going to be fully round, like, perfect. Imagine if it was like this, not fucking... Ugh. Take a bandana, right? So, imagine that's the washer, right? Perfectly fucking flat. The bushing on the inside has... It's, a, it's always going to be a little bit thicker than the blade. Stop calling me! So, the, the, wa the bushing's always going to be a little thicker than the blade, right? Because if it's perfectly flat, it, you're not going to have any, like... Any, you, like, apply tension, like, if you screw down your screws all the way... It's going to bind, right? So your bushing has to be just ever so slightly thicker than the blade. So your washer that would normally be fully flat is then going to have a little indent on top, right? And that's why people say when you take apart your, like your, your knife, replace the washers. Because most people aren't going to put them back in the correct orientation that they took them out. Because of the fucking groove on the thing. Hi, Kirby. Um, they're going to be a little groove on the top, right? Because that's how it wore in. That's how you wore the washer into the blade and the bushing. You can go back to where you were. Go back to bed. He's very racist, by the way. Um, so that's why it's important to replace your washers. If you're not, or if you're, it, it's, oh, it's important to replace your washers if you're stupid and you can't put them in the correct orientation they were in before. 
So, bronze washers were groove, okay? And that's why you get a little handle play after time, because your knife breaks in, right? And it, it wears into the groove and blah, 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 blah. I'm kind of rambling, but I feel like it helps demonstrate the point, because I'm just kind of like yapping and putting the thought into your brain. But a dog, right? And tie washers, because they're harder, they're not going to do that. And the reason why people like steel washers and the reason why they sound so nice is because of the hardness. It doesn't bend to the washer, okay? It's not making that little cup because the washer and the, and the bushing are the same material. They're steel, right? And steel, no matter what type of fucking steel, it's close enough in hardness that it's really not going to bend, okay? And even if the hardness was that much different, like... It's still steel, right? So the most you're going to get isn't even going to be close enough to being bronze phosphorus washer. It's not going to bend, right? Because it's, it's a hard metal. So I like titanium because it's not as hard to where it'll wear a groove in the blade or the handles, but it's hard enough that it'll keep tolerance, right? Which is kind of my point. So I love it. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Right, because the, the steel washer is the same hardness as the blade, or harder than the handles, right, like titanium and aluminum, if you put steel washers on your knife and you're not lubing it daily, daily I mean like weekly, right, you're going to wear a groove into your handles or your blade, and then you're fucked. You're absolutely fucked. You need a new blade or new handles or both, and at that point, get a new knife. And it sucks, because people just want their shit to be bouncy and clacky and sound nice and blah, 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 blah. And fuck all that, right? Because that doesn't make any goddamn sense. I am buying a knife to flip it, not to have some fucking, like, like sensory autism toy and be like, oh my god, look at you. Hold on, let me just start. Oh, 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 oh. Who is bouncy? Who is bouncy? Ooh, bouncy. Ooh. Right? Okay, like I'm trying to flip the goddamn thing, right? So I don't want it to be like kamikaze itself every time I want to do a full ass combo because, dude, the washers and the handles and the blade are at goddamn war. Okay? They're having a civil war in that goddamn pivot area, and I don't want to be a part of it, is what I'm trying to tell you. Bam. Uh, I just, fuck, I realized I was going to talk about which knives you should oil and which ones you shouldn't, and then I like completely glossed over that, so we're going to fucking wrap all the way back to the beginning of the video where I was talking about which one should be dry and which one should be lubed, and we're going to speed run it because we're at 18 minutes right now, so I'm going to speed run this bitch and we're going to fucking, um, that's an awfully hot coffee pot, right, type beat. So, what knife should you lube, which one should you not? Well, construction is really important. The amount of screws and the amount of parts that go on your knife matters towards if you should lube it or not. Good example, replicant. Do not fucking flip your rep dry. It has too many parts. They already bind. They're fucking annoying, okay? Your rep binds. I don't care what you say. You drop that bitch on carpet. I'm not saying concrete, not even fucking hardwood floor. You drop that bitch on carpet and it binds. Right, and you're gonna go on the market sale and you'll be like, oh my god, it has perfect bushings and perfect tolerances. No, it doesn't. No rep does. All reps are fucking annoying. Lube your rep. Lube your replicant. Lube your rep. That is, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Great example of what you can leave dry. The Kraken. The Kraken is blade, handle, two screws. I'm gonna kill Bryson. It's three pieces, right? There's only two screws. The, the number one rule, the less screws, the better. I'll usually go four. Four is max. If a knife has more than four screws, that bitch is getting oil. Is getting oil. That's just how it's going to go. Generally speaking, there are some other knives that also have exceptions. Typically, liner scale knives, replicants, um, Serpent Striker, Banshee, uh, Wraith. Um, what else has liners and scales? Anything that has a lot of pieces to it, just don't, don't leave it dry. Because it's, it's going to give you problems, it's going to be a pain in the ass, just lube that knife. If you're a channel knife and you only have like two screws with being your pivots, you can leave it dry. And it's going to be great. So, with that, 
I'm gonna go kill Bryson because that motherfucker is not leaving me alone. Okay, he's called me fucking twice on Discord and he called my phone once. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. That's a fourth time. Okay. Kraken, good dry. Okay. AB, good dry. Orion, good dry. Volt Pro, good dry. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll happily answer them because this video is kind of all over the place. So if I did miss anything that you're specifically worried about, or if I was just kind of confusing about my wording or how I explained something, just comment it and I'll happily clarify. If you watched all the way through this, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to be having more Ramble videos coming soon. I'm um, trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing. I'm going to be editing the Orion video this week, guaranteed. I don't know if I'm going to do it. To I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow or sometime this week, but I, I'm going to try and have my best. I'm going to try my best to have it ready for next weekend. So, with that, thank you all for watching. Um, uh, I think that's it. So, yeah. I'll, I'll see all. I'll see all of you later. Um, also, uh, happy Blade Show Texas to everyone that went to Blade Show Texas, and uh, I will be at Blade Show East. Just to confirm right now, so you don't even gotta ask. Um, so yeah, I, I'll see you guys then. Um, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Hey, shout out to Otoko Noko and Jam. I love both of them a lot. I love them and Oximity. I love Oximity too trying to think of who else I, I really like i love gibby gibby froggy man flips and I, i'm I'll, i'm gonna think of more people i'm gonna keep giving like uh people i love in the community because uh i need to start being a more positive person instead of such a fucking asshole so we're gonna start doing that um yeah all right bye gamers see you later bye bye um if you have any specific things you want me to talk about also leave that in the comments and i'll probably get around to it so thank you bye bye